Welcome to the Newport This Week video podcast series. Every Friday, wherever you find it, which I guess you'd have to know where those places are. It's NewportThisWeek.com and the Newport This Week YouTube channel. Today, we're joined by Angela McCalla, Newport City Councilor. Good morning. Good morning, Bill. It it's is, great to be here. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you. Um, it is March now, but I think just some quick reflections on Black History Month from your standpoint and... You know, just just in terms of even the fact that Black History Month exists, we still, believe it or not, I'll get emails saying, well, why isn't there a White History Month in 2024? Just your reflections right out of the gate on the importance of at least having a dedicated time to 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 dig deeper for those that haven't already into the history of of people of color in this country. Sure. So Black History Month is a national holiday. That's that it's a time for us to be able to pause and reflect on all the accomplishments for our black community. And I think uh, Newport is is not unique with that um, in, in that sense. Like we we have an international community. We have people that we often highlight. Um, but I think that, uh, you know, in following and lock in step of an American tradition, um, you know, Black History Month is it's important to also highlight and uplift those who are in the community doing the good work. So that's something that you've done. Talk about that process in your capacity as as counselor and beyond. Sure, I think I think just being able. Well, first of all, um, I am the second woman of color to ever serve. Um, and I and I say women of color because I am my father is Cape Verdean, but grew up in Senegal, West Africa, and my mother is from Seoul, Korea. So um, I am a biracial individual. I am the second woman of color to ever serve on the council. Um, the the first um, woman of uh, black woman was uh, Alice Richards, which um, you know served back in 1954. So, um, and I'm also, you know, um, in, in that retrospect, representation matters as we see, and Newport as part of the history, um, history matters as well. So um, I think for me, um, the vision was to sort of showcase um, our, our black individuals um, in the community, some who were familiar that people recognize, and then also like, being able to recognize um, some some who are are unfamiliar that often um, maybe go overlooked. Um, I think especially for our black community, we um, our black community is often in the rounds of doing the busy work and less about spotlighting or um, you know having avenues to spotlight and showcase their work. And I think um, for us in the city of Newport. I think that that was an important factor um, to also highlight, and maybe maybe people knew knew you, and maybe they learned something new. So it was great. It's a good chance to just kind of, in general, catch up on city council business. Not digging into any specific issues right now, but your big priorities right now in twenty twenty four. I just, I guess, just give an overview of where you see the greatest need is and what role the city council needs to take to shape better outcomes for those needs. Sure. I think, um, you know, this, this uh, session, we, we've had to think very deeply about where the future of Newport is going. I think housing is a big, um, you know, factor on everyone's mind, right? Um, you know, how do we begin to build the future and keep a community a community in this sense, you know, and we've had to also think about, you know, um, internationally, we are like, we're often drawn because of the beautification of our city as well. But we have some real infrastructure issues to be able, you know, we're, it's, it's talking about environmental justice, it's, you know, how are we using the land previously? And how do we get to a healthier outcome for folks? It's, you know, making sure that we, quite frankly, aren't drowning. Um, you know, we're we're combating cl climate change. We're talking. We're in the middle of our strategic um, 
our strategic plan. We've also passed our uh, master transportation plan and what that vision looks like. And, um, you know, I think that for us on this council, we're also thinking critically about how we're going to be able um, to build the resources to support not only our present, but our future. So super important. There's no question, just even the conversation around Easton's Beach, which we had last week here on the Newport This Week uh, video podcast. The idea of continuing to build infrastructure <laughs> on a coast that is without question, at minimum, changing. And you can debate all day why or how it's changing, but it is changing. Climate change is real. We've seen the impacts of this in terms of flooding in our community. And we've certainly even seen the impacts just on a, a the obvious basis of, I don't remember winter days routinely hitting 50s, minimal snow. Things are shifting. Do you think that the city as a whole is doing enough to combat what is inevitably going to be significant change over the next century? I think we're not there yet. No. Um, I think that we're trying, um, you know, again, we're in this um, process where we are trying to plan, but also to coming to the realization of, you know, resiliency projects cost money <laughs> and um, it's a lot of money. Uh, in order to build these sustainable communities. And I think we were also like, you know, looking at this from the process of development too, right? Like we have in my ward, we have, you know, so much construction um, going on. Uh, there's, you know, the realignment bridges and there's been severe impacts with that as well as, you know, other various construction uh, flood mitigation issues that are going on in, in our communities, as well as having to deal with the onset of, of traffic. And what does that, like, and that pressure, you know, um, we, we've got a lot more work to do. <laughs> From the standpoint of someone who represents the North End, the bridge realignment right now, has the communication between the Rhode Island Department of Transportation and residents of the North End been sufficient, or do you feel like there's a big gap in terms of that communication process right now? Okay, first I want to address, um, I also understand when people, some people here in the North End, they're only thinking of one particular neighborhood. And I want to be clear that in terms of the first ward, um, you know, that's parts of Broadway, that's, um, you know, uh, CCRI area, and it's also the point section as well. Um, so I wanted to clarify that. And then your second question, what, in terms of communication, I think, you know, we've got essentially four, four generations living in one, in, um, in an area. And I think that we, it's hard to, to contact everyone because everyone communicates very differently. Um, so yeah, I think, I think we can do more to do more robust things. So whether that's using our social media more, how many people are actually, you know, actually reading the, the newspapers these days, right? Like even just thinking about generationally, like our younger generation as well, like, you know, they're not watching, uh, NBC 10, they're on TikTok getting their news, right? Like it's it's all relative and we need to be um we need to be communicating all exhausting all avenues of communication and wrapping up lastly constituent service something you're very good at how can people get a hold of you and if they have an issue they want to raise how do they do so um they can um you know uh, I have a Facebook, uh, Angela McCalla for City Council, um, social media if they wanted to reach me. And quite great, quite frankly, my my telephone is always on as well. You can reach me at 401-290-8370 for those who are not, um, you know, uh, not necessarily on social media. Or you can contact me through my email. Um, I would prefer that you uh, contact me, a mccalla 2019 at gmail.com. Counselor Angela McCalla, thanks so much for your time this morning. Appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. Take care. You too.